One of the things that was surprising to us is that we had to turn away about 240 families who were interested because of the criteria for the research. And so that suggested to us that parents, military parents are really looking for resources and that going through children is a good port of entry. <clears throat> so it wasn't about psychopathology, it wasn't about anything that you're doing wrong, it wasn't punitive, it was just we know you want to be good parents and we know that you, you care about your kids. And this and deployment is really a forced separation. It's a, it's a huge stressor for families. Um, and so that was a, a, an important sign for us. And we had a 92% completion rate in our um, Strong Families program. So we had a lot of families who finished the whole thing. Um, and uh, many of them appreciated this sort of more gentle entry. So we came in, we, it was, we did, all, all of our work was home-based, and so we were trying to communicate, communicate the message to families that you're important enough for us to come to you. Um, we are all clinicians, you know, probably over-educated with lots of degrees, and um, we would come into someone's home, and if the cu custom was to take off your shoes and go sit in the living room, we would do that. We would sit on the floor with babies and toddlers, and we'd be there at different times of the day. And so. I think the families came to trust us and feel comfortable with us. Um, so I think that was really helpful. Um, I've always been a big fan of, of home-based work. Um, but families said they were willing to open up and that they were surprised that kind of having facilitated conversation with their loved ones was helpful and that they weren't making the time or they didn't really know how to kind of have those con kinds of conversations on their own. And so for our program to come in and sort of create that space and facilitate that um, was really helpful.